Welcome to Yankee Stadium. In somewhat unsurprising news, Matt Carpenter is taking his killer mustache to the southwest. He is headed to the San Diego Padres. Now, Carpenter did an amazing job with the Yankees. There's nobody disputing that. He hit 305 with 15 home runs and 37 RBIs in limited playing time. And his swing was built for Yankee Stadium. But he is getting a little bit long in the tooth. And he broke down. He had a broken foot. Ended up missing most of the second half and then did nothing in the playoffs. I feel like the Yankees kind of rushed him a little bit, trying to get him back in the lineup. I'm not going to lie to you. I would have brought Matt Carpenter back because the Yankees, to this point, don't have a lot of left-handed offensive options. Now, there have been some rumors in recent days as the Yankees look to fill their left field position about Michael Conforto. Now, these highlights that you're going to see from Michael Conforto are from 2021 because he missed the entire 2022 season. But he is a left-handed bat. He's played in New York. He's got some pretty good pop. His swing would play very well at Yankee Stadium. And the Yankees do need a left fielder. And one thing about Conforto is he might be willing to take a short-term deal just to kind of prove that he's healthy and to have an opportunity to win. In 2021, he hit 232 with 14 home runs and 55 RBIs. Was not totally healthy during that season either, but he has had some very good power numbers in the past. Dalton Varsho is another name that we've seen pop up recently. He had a very nice war last year, 4.9 according to baseball reference, 27 home runs, 74 RBIs. A 235 hitter, but that should improve as the shift goes away. Now, I will say I've been watching a lot more video of Dalton Varsho over the last couple of days. I really wasn't that familiar with him until his name started popping up as a rumored trade piece. But he's got a very nice swing. He's got legitimate power, and I do think he would put up some damage at Yankee Stadium. But knowing the way that Brian Cashman likes to avoid trading prospects... I think it's more likely they go for Conforto because it's just money. It's low risk, just one year. And you got Jason Dominguez in the minors who could be just one or two years away at most. Some people think he might make the majors this year. I think it's probably going to be more like 2024, but he really could be the opening day left fielder or center fielder in 2024. So it will be interesting to see what happens with the outfield situation. The Yankees definitely need to improve their offense. Jake McCarthy is another name that we've seen brought up from the Arizona Diamondbacks. He had a really good year last year, hit 283, eight home runs, 43 ribbies, a lot of speed, youthful, energetic player, 23 stolen bases, and he's also got a very good swing that really would play up in Yankee Stadium. But again, Cashman wants to hang on to the prospect, so I wouldn't count on this happening. But there is supposedly still a big move out there waiting to be made, and the Yankees need to improve that offense. So we'll see what happens. I'll be back whenever something breaks. Ball game over.